Gold. Hey Wildcats, this is Alex Morgan with Wildcat News. Reporting from here in the eSports Lounge, this is your Wildcat News update of the day. Earlier, I spoke with the Halo team captain, Ronan Wyatt, about what all goes into being on an eSports team. Here's what he had to say. So we're in two separate leagues. Uh, one of them is called ECAC, the other is called just College Halo. Um, for ECAC, it runs on a Swiss-style bracket, so every team that has the same record plays each other until there's only one undefeated team left, and then they'll play whoever they haven't played yet with the highest record. Um, in the other one, all eight matches come out on day one, and from there we have eight weeks to finish all those eight matches. So it's just scheduling around other colleges and their uh, class schedules, our class schedules, work schedules, exam schedules. It's a lot of balancing. Uh, so we have matches at least twice a week, and then we pretty much practice at any available moment. Uh, so we're usually practicing three to four times a week, whether it's just like as a team or if we're scrimming against another college. Um, but we're also on the Call of Duty team, so you kind of have to balance those two. So in our inaugural season, we went to the national uh, championship, and we lost 4-2 to Boise State. Um, last season, which was the second season, we got beat uh, in the semifinals and ended up placing third. Um, this season, I fully expect us to make the national finals. Long week. The Halo team is preparing for a tournament next weekend, hosting more than 15 teams. That's all for your Wildcat News update of the day. I'm Alex Morgan. Joining other sirs. When's our short?